Hey there, this is Cindy with Monarch Mom DIY. On my channel, I like to bring you the best tips and tools for creating beautiful home decor on a budget. But during this summer, I also like to bring you updates on my raising of monarch butterflies. Here's the first installment for this year. Right, so let's show you a little update on my monarchs this year. I'm going to kind of walk you through the different stages that I have right now. And first we'll start, I'm gonna see if this works. Hey, that works pretty good. This is a monarch egg. Let's see, I'm trying to film this. There we go. All right, you can see that little kind of off-white on the back of the leaf. And you will know that it's an egg because it's a little pointy on the top. I'm gonna see if I can turn it a little bit. This is driving my camera a little crazy. There you can see it's got a little bit of a point on the top. So. This is how small this monarch egg is compared to my finger, okay? So I currently have one egg. I had a whole bunch a couple of weeks ago and now they're all caterpillars. Next, I wanna show you these babies just came out of their eggs. Um, I think it was last night, let's see. See how small those guys are? So when they first come out of their egg, the first thing they do is they turn around and they eat the egg. It's very high in protein and it's very nutritious for them. Again, let's see if I can stick my finger in here to show you. These guys are very, very small, but they grow pretty fast. The next one I have here, I actually just found today. He's kind of hiding in there, so I'm going to see oh there he is I'm dripping water okay this one probably emerged today also they eat the egg and then they take a little rest and then they start eating the leaves so the mom monarchs are really smart they usually lay the eggs on the inside um, smallest leaves of the milkweed one, because um, that kind of protects them, keeps them hidden a little bit more from would-be predators. And the other reason is these really new leaves are the easiest for the babies to um, eat. I'm going to see if I can zoom in with my camera. Okay. Are the easiest for the baby caterpillars to eat. So you want to um, look there in the center of the milkweed for these baby caterpillars. All right, so these guys munch, munch, munch for a couple weeks. I'm gonna try to insert a graphic here that kind of shows you the timeline of the growing monarch. Okay, so that kind of gives you a little bit of information. And now I wanna show you what started as this tiny and some of the other sizes of caterpillars that I have right now. Okay, so these are still caterpillars that I have inside. You'll see I have these um, little racks with the test tubes and these are really great because one, they keep the milkweed standing up, but um, they also, you know, keep it hydrated. So I have a bunch of different 
sizes of caterpillars here. They usually like to be on the underside. I don't even think I need that to show you. The underside of the leaves. They seem to eat uh, more in the evening. Oh, this leaf has a bunch. Okay. You usually don't want to keep really big and really small caterpillars together. Unfortunately, the big ones sometimes will eat the baby ones. Um, so I kind of keep them, these two are really close together. I keep them inside maybe till they're about an inch and a half. Um, I just put a bunch outside and we'll go look out there next. But, uh, when they're about an inch, you know, they're, they're doing pretty good. They can move around and find where they want to go to eat. Let's see, this one is a little bit smaller. And so they eat and molt, uh, you know, exchanging their old skin for new, bigger skin that can grow and expand with them. Let's see, I thought I had a small, small one. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, there's another guy hiding in there. Let's see. I already saw those. All right. Well, anyway, so I don't even know how many I have because honestly, I had like a bunch of eggs and as they hatch. Oh, there. This one's pretty small. This is probably the smallest one I have um, here except for those three small tiny ones I showed you. So I just try to replenish the milkweed um, if it starts to get really, you know, let me see if I can find one, like eaten up like this piece, um, I'll get some fresh milkweed and I'll just very carefully cut the piece out where the caterpillar is and put it maybe on a fresh piece um, like this. One thing you'll notice, if you can see, when they're small, they do really small poop called frass and as they get bigger can you see down there it gets bigger so it is important to clean that off of the leaves because you don't want them to get sick from it um, and just I change out the milkweed when they're tiny maybe every two to three days when they get bigger like the ones I'm going to show you outside um, I change it out every day so let's go show you those guys that are in the outside butterfly enclosure okay so this is on my porch uh, my dad and I built this um, this spring in anticipation of butterfly season uh, we have had some rains and so the wood has swollen just a little bit which makes it really tight to try and open sometimes but let me show you what we have out here these are the larger ones. Okay, this guy is about an inch and a half. I just moved him out here today. But look at this one. He is getting ready. He's probably going to climb up to the top pretty soon and make his chrysalis, which I'll show you one. Here's a couple more in here, just eating away. Like I said, this is kind of their sleepy time. These ones that are on little cut pieces of leaf are ones that I just moved out here today you can see I was just seeing what this guy was doing he's kind of shaking his head a little bit okay all right so yeah there's a couple big fat ones in here that they're probably gonna get ready to climb up and make their chrysalis pretty soon so I move them outside now look at I did not know where is he there's a teeny baby out here I'm gonna actually take him inside where the other small ones are because I don't want him to accidentally get eaten this might have been an egg on one of these pieces of milkweed that I brought in and I didn't realize it so all right so when they are ready they will climb up to the top and you can see where that green chrysalis is hanging this was a caterpillar this morning that while I was gone at work 
the chrysalis emerged from the body, which is a really cool process. I'm going to try to insert that next in this video. And then the chrysalis that's green now, it'll turn dark in up to 14 days. And then the butterfly will emerge. You can see there's a bunch of empty chrysalides hanging here. I have had 13 emerge so far this year. Hey, what are you doing over here? This guy is a wanderer. And I'm going to get him back on the leaf, on the milkweed. Just a minute. All right, so I got him back. Oh, and look, now he's climbing again. So I think he is trying to climb up to the top. And he's probably going to be doing his J-hang. I may come out later and see if he's hung hanging from the top of the enclosure like that one did. They hang head down in a J shape and then form the chrysalis. So I'm going to show you right now this clip of the caterpillar hanging upside down and then his outer skin um, being removed to form the chrysalis. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first update on my monarch caterpillars. We got all the way today through the stage of forming the chrysalis. Next time I'll show you what happens as that chrysalis gets darkened and hopefully show you a butterfly emerging.